All right, guys, we're here with Richard. How are you doing, Richard? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm oh, not too bad. Thank you very much. Thank you. Glad to hear it. Now, could you tell me, Mask, mm -hmm. what's it about? Mask is about a uh, young guy who thinks he has this monstrous appearance. And so he puts on this mask, which makes him look like everyone else. But the mask cracks, everyone sees, and he's forced to flee into the wilderness and deal with uh, all the fallout of that from there. Okay. So for the story, um, was there any inspiration at all? Or was, did it come from any personal... So um, for this one, I didn't really have any catchy, nice tale about it, but I, was, I had this image of crack pottery in my head, which I really wanted to use in some way. And while I was brainstorming for another project, another person's project, uh, I came up with this idea and I liked it a lot. So I stole it for myself and applied that idea and made it my own. So, and how long has it been from, from start to finish? Or is, this, is it finished or will it be? Uh, so my intention with this guy was that I'd have a uh, beginning, middle and end, a one shot sort of story, uh, partly to build up my own confidence, but um, also just, I think, it's nice to be able to pick up the whole package at a convention or something and have a complete story. That being said, I, I might be doing a sequel. I'm trying to work out an idea which works for me, but no promises, but potentially. Could, could you say that, um, that this might be like an allegory to, to like human nature? Or? Yeah, absolutely. I was, very, um, I was very intentional about making something which I think would be relevant, particularly for young people today, but I think it's relevant for everyone. This idea of us projecting a mask, an image, into the world that uh, isn't who we are and uh, the necessity to sort of open up and you know expose ourselves warts and all to everyone. That's the only way we develop true intimacy, true relationships, that sort of thing. So truly exposing yourself to see the real you in a way. Yes, yes exactly right. Any current projects that you're working on? Or? Yeah, I'm working on an ancient Egyptian western at the moment called Rutan Tutan Carmen. Yeah, can, that's... Can you tell us a little bit about that? That's yeah, amazing. so um, it actually, the story behind that one was I, I was on a family vacation uh, in Egypt and my brother, uh, my brothers were there and one of my brothers came up and said, Richard, I want you to draw me a picture of a cowboy mummy called Rutan Tutan Carmen. And I loved the idea so much that I had to make an entire story about it. Yeah, so basically it's a western with mummies and unks and sphinxes and whatnot. Yeah, is, is that complete or is that still... That's, uh, that's in progress. I'm currently inking and colouring that guy. That's so, <laughs> sounds amazing. And, plodding along. And is that just as deep as the, the mask or is that... I, I, my intention was this one was a bit more uh, light-hearted, a little more jovial. I won't say it's a comedy per se, but it's more of a spaghetti western. Um, so I like to think that it's got a bit of depth, but it's not, not as much of an allegory as Mask was. Right, I know, but it's, it just sounds amazing. I would, I'm going to yeah. hopefully grab it when, it when it comes out oh, as well. It's been fun to <laughs> uh, And I've also been working on, uh, it's still in the writing stages, but some uh, Knights stories, because I love Knights. And I thought I'd do a little twist on the uh, Knight Saves Princess from Dragon uh, archetype story that we have. Right. So, so that's possibly in the pipeline at the moment? That's in the pipeline, yeah. That's, uh, that's queued up for the next one after. Any, any punchy titles? So no, that one's still name pending, unfortunately. But uh, Well, if it's, if, it's, if it's anything like Rune Tune Carver, I'm sure it'll be a good hit. I'll try and avoid a pun. I'll try. <laughs> but I can't promise anything. Anyway, Richard, thank you very much. It's great having you. It's an and, absolute delight. Yeah, and I look forward to, to reading as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, take care. Thanks. All right.